Hello all, Zox here. We're here to talk about Monster Core. Alright? You want to get these Monster Core, Monster Codex, to get your strength and your power built up better, your resistances or whatever stat ability that is that you're looking for, without having to get any additional gear or anything like that. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click these three bars here, which is like your main menu. And then we're going to go to Challenges. And then we're going to go to Monster Codex right here. So you can see so when we click on the monster codex you can see there are several different ones here all right that you can go and obtain that are in this area physical attack and magical attack is what I'm doing now I think that one's really important that's probably the first one you want to start with leave it farming this material for me all the time and that's how I've gotten nine levels so far I only need one more in order to make it to, to max it out which will give me 50 um, of each of these so that's what you want to do that's what you want to shoot for whatever area or zone you want to go to you'll click the location alright and it will pop up with this map and tell you give you two options you can click walk and you'll just walk there or you can click this and obviously teleport there right so you can see here's where I am right here, running around this area here. And the mob that we're killing is Black Fang. So you just click Black Fang, you see the red dot, you can see where it is, you click go to, and that's how you go. And with Black Fang, I'm gonna go do Silver Horn here. All of the ones that have a blue background versus these here, okay, all the names of these, it shows what level all these mobs are. So whatever level you're at, you can go farm them, AFK or something and uh, it, specifically you want to farm the ones that have the blue highlights because they drop monster cores based on the stat that you are looking for to increase is how you would decide which mobs you want to farm these guys are killing fast so we're going to switch channels real quick we're going to go to three auto See, nobody else is here. Everyone else is in channel 2, but I'm here at channel 3 all by myself. And we also have a daily quest for a monster core too, so I've got level 5 on this one here. Okay, this is a really good spot to farm. This is a drop though. Okay, so it's a lot. It does not drop as quite as often, so therefore I'm already level 5, I'm halfway there, and I've got 100 extra health hit points, um, which is nice. So and this here is R, so it hardly ever drops. This core can only be acquired through clan raids. Come back, AFK farming, and look. See this? Acquire monster core. It's the only monster core that drops here, so we'll go ahead and uh, claim our reward. And we'll start this quest. Oh, no we won't. Um, acquire enhanced armor. All right. <coughs> so, what you do is you click here, you click on challenges. So when I click challenges, there should be a red little dot. There we go. Look at that beautiful red dot monster codex. Click it, and when it's ready to be done, it will say codify. So we click it. Bam! See, it's got the little golden dragon on it now. It is now complete. So we have now completed our Black Fang Monster Codex. Make sure that you're at least five levels above what you're trying to kill so that you don't die. Okay? So that you don't die. And the other thing you want to do is you want to click here. All right? I don't want anyone to be mad and upset. Hopefully you stayed and watched till the end of this. All right? But you basically, right here, click, got your settings up, click your details, and go to battle. You see where all these settings are, right here? Okay. This one doesn't really matter as much, but the auto MP potion and the auto HP potion is what matters. Okay. What you want to do is drag them all the way down to here. This one is auto healing, so if you happen to be a healer, that will use any type of healing skill as you can see okay that's what a healing skill so whatever you know uh, percentage you want your healing skills to go off at 
69 is good, right? So that's the way you leave it. And the reason why you want to do that is because you see this 587 health potions and 190 mana potions. And then also when you're AFK, make sure you don't have these little soul dudes on because I will show you why. Watch this. When you go to consumables, if you want to buy these in mass discounts, it's 21,600 gold a piece. Uh, well, not a piece, but for 200 potions. And the other ones, the soul shots, I've went AFK. It was farming AFK and I accidentally had soul shards on, had over 6,000 soul shards and there goes 45,000 gold, right? <laughs> so that's what I wanted to tell you. So pop this silver horn go to. Okay, so now I told you I was going to farm these guys also for this codex. Now that we've completed the thing, we're going to do this one. So, again, we're still on East Talking Island. We completed Black Fang. And now we're doing this one here, as you can see, where the red dot is. And we're at the Silver Horn. So, it's been farming for maybe five hours, I think it's been. And I believe this is probably the best way to spend your AFK time. But increasing your character's combat power is very viable since everything that you do is based on your combat power. So now we're at 32, it's still level four, but I just want to show you the little bit of difference in the C all right, so they drop a lot more, but you needed a lot more of them to do um, to get the stats on those. Try to utilize the time that you do play doing fun things. You don't want to sit here and farm these things forever. Waste your time. Do that while you're AFK. Work smarter, not harder, right? Thanks for watching. Until next time, the Zox out.